This is KWCH 12 Eyewitness News at 6. Wire fraud, bank fraud, and money laundering. Those are the charges against Sedgwick County Commissioner Michael O'Donnell. Yeah, an indictment filed last week was unsealed today, and we're learning what the government says the former state senator did wrong. Fact Finder 12 investigator Devin Passfinder has been following this story. She's live outside the county commission office. Yeah, the county commission operates here at the Sedgwick County Courthouse, but the indictment shows that, that back when Michael O'Donnell was still a senator is when these allegations began. I reached out to Michael O'Donnell today, and he responded by giving me the name of his attorney, and his attorney says he plans on defending his innocent client. Up to 20 years in prison for some charges, up to 30 years in prison for others, plus up to a million dollars in fines. That's what Sedgwick County Commissioner Michael O'Donnell is facing in crimes the government unsealed Friday. It wouldn't be fair to say that Michael isn't disappointed, and, um, you know, anybody would be. But uh, uh, Michael's a, a very strong individual, and I expect that, um, you know, uh, in the next uh, few months, we'll learn a lot more. Um, and uh, hopefully, like I said, everything's going to be resolved in his favor. Mark Shonifer, O'Donnell's attorney, says he believes O'Donnell is innocent and says O'Donnell has no intention of stepping down from his public office. He says he's waiting to see the government's evidence. What the government intends to prove is that O'Donnell wrote checks to his friends using campaign funds. The allegations say he then had his friends write him checks back that he then put into his personal accounts. Kansas law does not allow campaign donations or funds be used for anything not related to the campaign. Candidates have to prove they use the dollars correctly, something the government says O'Donnell lied about five times. We're both uh, a little taken aback by the charges. Um, we understood that, uh, you know, an investigation was, you know, taking place. Um, we've met with the government a couple of times, but um, the charges themselves, um, you know, I intend to vigorously defend. Uh, I believe in my client's innocence. Shonifer says O'Donnell will be in court next week. Now, we told you back in 2015, the FBI wiretapped several men's phones, including O'Donnell's. At that time, O'Donnell told FactFinder 12 he did not know why or really much about the investigation. We know other men who had their phones tapped have since pleaded guilty to charges involving gambling and tax crimes, among other men in that case. I asked the U.S. Attorney's Office if these charges are related to that case. A spokesperson said all he could say is there are no allegations of gambling in this indictment. But O'Donnell's attorney tells me it is safe to assume the investigation started there and branched out to other charges. Now, O'Donnell is on the county commission, meaning he is elected by people like you. So we spoke to some of his colleagues about their reaction to these allegations and what they think should happen. Brenda Carrasco speaks with them. Commissioners say they're shocked to hear the allegations Michael O'Donnell faces, but one commissioner says he isn't shocked to hear what that that happened. He's now calling for O'Donnell's resignation. The future of Michael O'Donnell as a Sedgwick County Commissioner in question. Commissioners say the allegations against O'Donnell have been difficult to accept. In my opinion is, you know, on a professional level, I have the greatest respect for the man. He's, he's been a good commissioner. Um, we've had an active year. We've all been busy and um, each commissioner has his own priorities to work through, but I had no indication of a, of a problem. But Commissioner Richard Ranzaw, an outspoken critic of O'Donnell, says the allegations don't surprise him. He's demanding O'Donnell's resignation. Well, it puts a cloud over everything we do. We've already kind of had a cloud, but now we really do. Over everything that happens, every decision that is made, um, this will be a focus point. I think rightfully so. Um, you, we have a sitting commissioner who's been indicted. Other commissioners say they won't let these developments impact their duties. Still got uh, commissioners that are ready to serve and that they're going to be doing the best job that they can for our citizens. And until the courts decide an outcome for the case, O'Donnell will continue serving as a commissioner. All of our people are innocent until proven guilty and we need to let the process uh, work its way out. Sedgwick County commissioners plan to meet with their attorneys to find out what these developments mean for the commission. Brenda, thank you. We tried to contact Michael O'Donnell several times today. Several of our reporters have called him, left him voicemails, text messages. The only response we've gotten is he responded to my text message, giving me the name of his attorney. So we sent Jacob Albrocht to his home.
Now, no one answered at the home. We're not sure if he was there. There was a vehicle there with a parking pass in the windshield, and that had his name on it, so we are assuming that is his vehicle, but again, no one answered the door. Now, again, O'Donnell's attorney it tells me that O'Donnell does not plan it to step down from the commission, but if he decides to do so, or if the commission gets rid of him in that position, we looked into what would happen. You act as the Board of County Commissioners. If a county or, commissioner uh, has to leave board. office for whatever reason, a replacement is made quickly. Within 21 days, those on the precinct committee have to pick a new commissioner, and only the precinct committee in the commissioner's political party. So, for instance, if a Republican commissioner leaves, the Republican precinct committee picks a replacement. The same goes with Democrats. Once that decision is made, the governor has to certify the decision and appoint the new person within seven days. This is not the first issue that Michael O'Donnell has had while in office. Back in 2007, he unsuccessfully ran for Wichita City Council. He was taken out of the race after someone filed a complaint claiming he did not live in the proper district. Fast forward four years, O'Donnell won the fourth district city council seat just months after the election. O'Donnell admitted to using his city email address to invite people to a political fundraiser. In 2012, O'Donnell earned a seat on the state Senate. During that time, he was the subject of a police investigation accused of providing alcohol to minors. The case was dropped due to lack of evidence. His career took another turn in 2016. That's when he beat incumbent Tim Norton to become Sedgwick County Commissioner. Now, of course, his future is in question. So here is what we know now. O'Donnell has been charged on 12 counts. He's accused of bank fraud, wire fraud, and money laundering. His attorney says he believes O'Donnell is innocent and he'll be in court next week for a first appearance. Now, again, we know the big question. The U.S. Attorney's office says all that he can really say about that FBI investigation is there are no allegations in O'Donnell's indictment that are any have anything really to do with gambling although O'Donnell's attorney says that is likely where this whole investigation began.